Hello, everyone. Greetings. Yeah. Uh. Currently, the political sphere in the Korean Peninsula is changing. Which political tool will Korea choose? What will make the Korean people have a good life? That is the ultimate question that everyone is asking. This question determines what kind of means of production the government will choose. Means of production. This thing that we call an economic system is a means for production. Which political system will the government leaders pick? This question is also directly connected to which means of production it will choose. Actually, we need to evaluate the productivity of the tool that we choose. If our profit is not increasing or improving, we need to question ourselves the productivity of our tool. For example, Let's say there is a beautiful lady that wants to move. Will she use a trolley or a truck? What are all these vehicles? These are all resources. They are all means of productivity. These are all means of productivity. However, if you pick a trolley to move your belongings, that won't work. If you pick the trolley, something extra gets added. And that is labor. If you use a trolley, you will have to use a lot of labor in order to move all your things from Seoul to Busan. Or let's say you have to do laundry. Will you use a washing machine or a washboard? A washboard is a means of production as well, but so is a washing machine. Can you not wash your clothes with a washboard? Of course you can. However, it takes a lot of effort and the productivity is low. If you use a washing machine, you can wash a big load and you can watch your favorite TV series while you're at it. Am I not right? The strategy of time and labor. That is what means of production is. Then, if you have selected Atomy, as your means of production, you need to evaluate if this business will reap great profit. At this time, I am going to tell you about the objective conditions that will make your Atomy business successful. I am not talking about subjective conditions. Ah. Subjective conditions, when seen objectively, might not prove my point. But what I am trying to say is that you need to objectively evaluate Anime's productivity compared with others. Who makes the ultimate decision? It is yourself. Let's look at the four questions on the slide. I'm sure there are people who are here for the first time. And you might ask the following questions. Should I begin this business or should I not? This is something you must decide objectively. This is a matter of profitability. Aren't you in the business for the money? Will someone like me be able to succeed? No way, of course not. Not like this. Then how will you be successful? You have to continue to learn. Now then, these are the objectives of our seminars. The definition of success in this business is to have stable and high profit. I am not talking about the definition of success generally, but I'm talking about success in atomy business. And for you to succeed, you need to accumulate capital, and your attitude and mindset are the most important factors. Next are the objective conditions established for atomy's success. These are conditions that will make atomy members successful. If you accept this in your heart, and if you are self-motivated, then you can succeed. However, 
If you aren't motivated, you can never succeed. Hmm. What did I say for my first point? There is no sunk cost, a total of nine points on the slide. Second is that it is a luxury for the masses. Let us then see what each of these mean. For the first point, sunk cost means the cost that you cannot recover once you quit the business. Let's say you started a chicken franchise. Do they let anyone invest in the franchise? Have any of you done franchises here? There's a membership fee, of course, right? They do not grant the franchise to anyone. Next, let's say you sign a contract with the franchise. Do you know what's next? You have to put up a sign outside. You have to put up the name of the franchise. Then, what's the next? You need to purchase the store facilities such as tables, chairs, and etc. I asked how much all of that cost and they said at the least $50,000, including the interior renovation. If you want to make it look somewhat nice, it costs about $200,000, including the interior design and other costs. These are all sunk costs. If you all of a sudden quit the chicken franchise business, no one is going to buy the sign outside the store from you. The tables, chairs, your used refrigerator, all of these are just metal objects. Actually, these days you have to pay people to take your trash for about $5 per piece. They will not just take your trash for free. You might think that other people will pick up your trash but the security guard will come and post a price for you to pay. In order to throw away such trash. No one wants that kind of stuff. In other words, all of our initial costs are considered sunk costs. If you quit doing business, you can't get any money from it. But in Atomy business, there is no sunk cost. There is no entrance fee, no maintenance fee. And you don't even have to put up a sign. There aren't even any stores, no physical stores at all, so the sunk cost is zero. What does that mean? It means that there is no loss. No loss at all. It means the business does not bring you any harm. Second, the products are a luxury for the masses. In Atomy, we call this mastige. Actually, the words mass and prestige are contradictory. Because anything that is for the masses cannot be a luxury or prestige product. However, in Atomy, we have combined these two terms. We were able to do this because of absolute product and absolute price. So, when you tell others to switch their toothpastes, that Atomy's is better than other competitors, that it is a lot cheaper, you will not feel guilty for saying such things. In other words, Atomy's products do not bring harm to your customers. If it does, then you won't be able to sell Atomy's products. But when we use the word mastige, there needs to be a precondition in order to use that word confidently. What is that precondition? You need to use it first. You might think that I am trying to sell you these products by saying so, but that's not it. If you can't be confident about your own products, you can't sell them to others. Sincerity Many scholars say that if the 20th century was the age of technology, the 21st century will be the age of sincerity. Sincerity or authenticity. Why is sincerity so important? Technology in all the countries have been fairly standardized now. They are almost all the same. Let's look at smartphones, for example. If you look at the technology of the different smartphones, the level is almost all the same. Have you heard of an LG smartphone having bad reception? No. The quality of the products are almost all the same now. So, what is more important in this age? Why is sincerity so important? In the 21st century, due to SNS, information can be disseminated worldwide in the blink of an eye. If you lie or fool someone, everyone will find out real soon.
That is why Atomy's products are Mestige products. You cannot lie about them. And you will have to use the products yourselves in order to have sincerity. That is why I am telling you to use the products yourselves first. And because the products are prestige products for the masses, you will not feel guilty when you tell people to use Atomy's products. As I mentioned, there is no sunk cost in Atomy. And if you combine that with Atomy having Mastige products, this will bring you no harm, even if you tell people to switch to Atomy's products. This is very important. Whether you will be able to earn $50,000 or not is a concern for the far future. It should not be your concern today. But whether Atomy's products will bring you harm or not is an issue that will affect your business today. Third is a training program led by the company. What about other companies then? They don't have that luxury. Other companies do group businesses. In other words, the members gather together in groups and organize seminars on their own. In Atomy, however, information is disseminated fairly to all the members because the seminars are not run by groups. That is why even half-smarters can succeed in Atomy business. That is why you can learn the rules of Atomy only when you participate in seminars hosted by the company. Next, Atomy has a fair compensation plan. Why do we say so? This is a matter of being fair. What about Company A? It depends on the ability of the members. What happens to those who are incompetent? They cannot earn a single penny. Not a single cent. In Atomy, our levels can go on with no limits, while in others, there are limits. What's the outcome then? In order to make more money in other companies, they have to keep forming new lines under them. And who can be successful at this? Only those who are competent. Also, other companies do not have a compensation ceiling. This is actually in line with the free market capitalistic economy. Under the scrutiny of economists, there is nothing wrong to be said about Company A's compensation plan. That is why they've lasted 60 years. In Atomy, however, even a half-smarter can succeed. Is that in line with capitalism principles or not? It is not at all. Half-smarters actually cannot succeed, whether it be in a capitalist economy, communist, or in any system. But in Atomy, even a half-smarter can succeed. And we placed a compensation ceiling, as I mentioned. We also give PV points with no limits. Am I right? And we have binary model as well. Why then do we call this model of ours a just compensation plan? Equality is not the only virtuous value. There is also such thing as concern for others. Should we not take care of our incompetent members as well? Even if there are those that fall behind, we need to look after them. Also, no matter how competent a member is, isn't it unfair that they earn $1 million a month? Isn't $50,000 a month enough? That is why we have placed a compensation ceiling. It is a very virtuous thing to show concern for others. The issue of whether equality is more important or caring for others is more important depends on a person's philosophy. In Atomy, we believe that caring for others is more important. The next point is also very important in Atomy. Regardless of whose line they are in, the sponsors travel to many different countries in order to provide training for other members. This is actually very good economically and in terms of time as well. Let's say, for example, that all the sponsors here today came up on stage and give an hour's lecture. What will happen? That will waste much time and cost. Just in Taiwan, there are many lines there. If only one person goes there instead of ten, that saves a lot of time and cost. Without this system, the law of exponential growth cannot be possible. We will not be able to make any profit. All of our capital will be drained as expenses. This is the power of the super synergy of United Hearts. 
This is the hive of white ants. Scientists say that white ants do not have great individual intellect. But when there are one million ants, they can build such things. The white ants have designed a cutting-edge air-conditioned hive. Outside, the temperature fluctuates between 40 degrees to 15 degrees, but inside where the ants live, it maintains a solid 24 degrees all day long. A shopping center in Zimbabwe has benchmarked the hive. It is the East Gate Shopping Center in Zimbabwe. It only uses about 10% of a typical shopping center and it always maintains 24 degrees inside the building. This is the epitome of collective intelligence. One cannot do this alone. Next is the company's sound financial structure. Atomy can't fail because we don't have any debt. You might worry you will not receive any compensation if the company fails. Don't worry and just work hard. Atomy can never fail because we don't have any debt. Typically, most major companies have hundreds of percent of debt ratio. Some companies even have a 2,000 percent debt ratio. That means they have 20 times more debt than their capital. For these companies, if the needs in the market declines, that will cause problems in their financial system. If sales fall by 30 percent, they will experience a financial crisis. They will go bankrupt and will have to file a lawsuit. But because Atomy has no debt, though sales may fall due to a disaster, there is no way that you will not receive your compensation. Atomy has a financial structure that prevents such calamities. No matter how much money humans have, they cannot do work that is not meaningful. That is what's interesting about humans. In other words, if this network marketing company harms other people while making others rich, people will not be able to continue on with this work. They cannot because it won't be rewarding. What about us then? Our products are mastige products and they do not harm others. It is also affordable. Next, it is a challenging business. As we go to the conditions at the back, it becomes more and more abstract, but it is getting more important for those who are high in ranks. People cannot do work that is not challenging. Why do people try to climb the Himalayan mountain? It is because the mountain challenges you. It calls out to you and you have to accept that challenge. Look at Olympic athletes. They practice running the 100 meter dash all year round. They just keep running. Why is that? That is because those nine instant seconds are challenging them. I want to surpass Usain Bolt. That is challenge. Hmm. If anyone could be a lawyer by passing an easy exam, do you think people will take the exam? If everyone is a lawyer, then there is no challenge. People risk their lives doing work that is challenging. But they do not do work that is not challenging. Last is a Global One server. Other companies do not have this system. A member from the U.S. goes to China the next year to do business. In other companies, they have to register to be a contractor in China all over again. No one will try to get permission from the Department of Commerce in the U.S., right? In Atomy, all we need are interpreters. You can go do business in China by only having an interpreter with you. In one line under a Korean, there can be a Japanese, Cambodian, an American. And under that American, there can be a Korean member. Under that person can be an Indonesian. All of this is possible because of the one server. This is not a simple process. We constantly requested approval from the Fair Trade Commission, and we asked them to interpret the law for us. We asked them, can we have a global one server? They responded that it was possible. So what does this mean? This means that our market can be expanded to the rest of the world. Next year, Atomy is opening up in China that has 1.4 billion people. In China, Atomy will need more than one branch. Right now, there is a branch in Yantai, Sandong province. Just in that one province, the population is 120 million people. 
China will need at least six branches. This is my conclusion. In order to achieve all this, you will need to study three things, cool head, warm heart, and busy hands. If you nurture your own character, money will just follow. Those who are engaged in their current work are said to be happier. Why is that? That is because it is rewarding. I hope all of you here will become royal masters and crown masters three to five years from now. Thank you very much.